Hi everyone. In today's video, I am going to uh, teach you about uh, the formal and informal vocabulary. When we are uh, speaking, we can use a kind of a vocabulary which is known as uh, informal vocabulary. While writing, especially in written English, we use a kind of vocabulary which is known as a formal vocabulary. We must understand the difference between the formal and informal vocabulary. So, informal vocabularies are uh, uh, quite common. So, we uh, commonly use this kind of uh, informal vocabulary, but uh, formal vocabulary is uh, used by us only in written English and you can find them in uh, textbook, newspaper, while uh, reading news, but uh, they are not exactly same. There is a slight variation uh, between this formal and informal vocabulary. Let me explain it with certain examples. For example, uh, I informed him, I told him. It is almost similar. But uh, I informed him, it is a formal, but I told him, that is informal. Uh, told, this verb is often used by us, but he informed me, I informed them. Uh, let me give you another one example. I got 95 marks in mathematics, I obtained 95 marks in mathematics, but meaning is almost similar, but I got 95 marks, it is an uh, informal vocabulary. So, I obtained, so obtained is a formal vocabulary. What's your job? What's your occupation? Here, the job and occupations are different. We normally use job, what's your job? But occupation is a formal vocabulary. So, this is the difference between formal and informal vocabulary. But um, we use them in the particular context. Uh, informal vocabulary are uh, commonly used by us in everyday life and in our uh, conversation, whereas that uh, formal vocabulary uh, is used by us only in a uh, formal situation, in a formal context like um, uh, newspaper and some uh, in written English and in some poem, something like this. So, we need to understand the difference. Accordingly, we need to use that uh, both formal and informal vocabulary. Thank you so much for uh, watching my video. Let us meet in the next video.